So I just wanted to come on and be real and have a chat because you hear me and my words and my emotive ways and how I speak and how I engage in how it predominantly of what you've seen so far other than snippets of the aftermath has been Harry and Meghan and that's because of a broken family, a broken home in front of my eyes and most people that suffer the aftermath do look on and I call it the aftermath. It's the aftermath of that regime that you once lived in for me, domestic abuse growing up. I was born pretty much into and this Dungeons and Dragons games that you're in and how it, it, this, this sets you up for life, your mind in how how you hold yourself and control yourself and always read a room and constantly responsibility is on you for everyone else, their actions and behaviours as you constantly bring hate to yourself for your own actions and behaviours, even placed in kind or in a quiet room in the workplace if you've spoken in that panic because the silence, the eggshells puts you on edge and you overshare to compensate instead. No matter what, I found myself in the aftermath in my safe home, my now safe home, constantly in my mind, masking away the inner, the deep triggers that will come along and pull me back in and take me back, you know? The safe didn't feel comfortable to me. I, 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 when I was safe and it was quiet and still, I was expecting the bad to come because that's what I had been, I'd grown up to know for so long, you know, and I, I suppose I speak on Harry and Meghan because these triggers and watching broken families and many in my community feel that too, and many without even a life and abuse see it. You know, but but my my whole stance in finding this voice and sharing my story and sharing my my words of how I managed to understand and revisit my story and connect the dots to find peace and balance in who I am now, to understand and be prepared, to know my strengths, my weaknesses, to be prepared so when I fall back in because no doubt it will drag me back in I've got stepping stones and tools to interject with my mind to say no that's the trauma that's your old story you are safe you've got nothing to fear these feelings brewing inside right now as you're on edge and stuck to the ground because a trigger's in hot pursuit that's your trauma that's your PTSD which helps me move. It helps me move past that moment I may indulge for a moment or two and slip back in, but then I move on. But then I'm prepared because I'm hyper vigilant for the next few days because I know I've had this moment of this portal opening up to take me back in, to delve in, and it helps me stay on top. And for me, it's so important to connect the little dots to understand you. And I started writing a book and I will do what I can to share it with you just like I did. And I have alongside this beautiful community of the people with the same minds as me, like a symptom checker of the same fears, this, this aftermath of the same narcissist handbook in how they train you how they relay buttons in you and you can't just walk away from that and be free you have to work on yourself to love you to unpick and unwire that brain so confused with the pain they inflicted on you so naturally this is going to come for trigger warning as i share a part of my book in a simple connection of a dot to help me see more clearly in moments in time when this should arise that i can stop myself and say look look at this this is the reality this feeling that's it's red flag that pin that because you don't need that in your life today because you are safe I will always use the word home loosely if waking up in the dead of night to screams of your mom being thrown up the other side of your bedroom door, stopping the route and way out of your room to prevent that need for you and your siblings to find comfort in that pack with scuffs and shouting, banging and him, the man who fought in that moment of rage that set in a light to your plastic items on the lawn in front of your eyes, our toys on that night was okay. This man who felt strong throwing our mom around weaken her resolve day by day as she had three jobs and worked like a slave 
whilst running out to the postman to redirect the post out of his hands and vision. I watched her do, so he didn't get angry and use it as a reason to start again, to stop him seeing the bills for the money he had spent, which brings me back to the now, and how I get so defensive over money when my husband simply asks how much was that, I automatically go on the defense and feel so attacked, feeling overwhelmed in that moment, feeling anxious and sick, attacked. There you go, I connect a dot for surviving for me now has become a balance having to get stuck in to understand and see for this was never my fault, the actions of now. There is always a deep connection in that blackout and cloud back then to now. We adored her, we feared losing her every day. I could never sleep out a lot apart from one family, my second home, a respite it had become due to the fear of never saying goodbye, for never being there to protect her. Although in these times I would just freeze to the core and cry every morning I uniform ironed cups of tea ready and her stud with a dishcloth in hand wiping down a door I always thought she was house proud but now I see as she was just ruling out an excuse a reason she was beautiful her hair in a 90s perm on her head she could have been so glam bright blue eyes that started to dwindle a grayish tone the sparkle had gone she wasn't able to wear a bra crop tops he chose and she navy tights green jumpers and navy and green check skirts below the knee of course a really momsy mom so i thought dressed so well and neat this perfect the apple of my eye all our eyes so fragile agile and broken we witnessed we knew but reality is she was dressed in fear that others would come near so that's just a snippet just a simple going back to explore and understand the simple connections the dots that that you know the little bits and how they build up and how you interact and how you react and what's normal what's not what's reality what's not what's your past and what's the now you know in segregating the two so we can place the trauma in a place where we now control because we understand it we see it and we will say no you are not my now you are my old and i write my next chapter because i say so